Hey there, it's John Dorn with Backpacker Magazine. We're talking about sleeping pads today. Gear School, how to fix a leaky pad. I'm going to show you in just a couple minutes here with using only a toothbrush, a repair kit, and a Sharpie, how you can get that leaky pad that made you cold all night long on your last trip back in working order. The first thing we're going to do here, and this is really smart to do on any, after any trip, is open up the valve, take your toothbrush, and really work it in there to get any grit out of the threads that can both cause leaks and make it difficult to close the, the, the valve up. Now I'm going to inflate the pad as much as I can so that when we dip the pad in the water over here, it's going to have a lot of pressure to show us where the, where the hole is. Now, if you want to come over here, the trick to this, I'm going to put the pad underwater. You can see I've filled the sink up about two-thirds of the way. I'm going to double over the pad. I think I know where the, the leak is. I think it's somewhere on the bottom um, under where my legs were. And I'm going to stick the pad underwater, and if we're lucky, we'll see a stream of bubbles coming from where the hole is. Now you, you can see right away there, we've got a little stream of bubbles coming out right there where my finger is. So we know we found at least one hole. When we get done with patching, if you're still having a problem of it deflating, you might need to go back and do this process again. But in this case, I'm going to put my finger on that, on that spot right there so I can remember where it is. I'm going to take my pad out, bring it over here onto the counter. Keep my finger on that, dry it off a little bit, and then I'm going to grab that Sharpie and I'm just going to do a little, little circle there. It doesn't want to work when it's wet, but a little circle around that spot where the hole was. Now, we need to wait until this dries, until we do the actual patching, because the glue doesn't want to stick to this wet material. So we're going to come back in a couple minutes and show you how to do a patch once this is dry. Okay, so we're back to finish patching off our ruptured pad. We had a tiny little pinhole here. We checked it in the sink. We found where the bubbles were coming out. We dried it off. We marked it so we remembered the spot. And now that the pad is dry, we're going to finish the patching job. You want to make sure it's really dry. Leave it out for an hour or so usually. Now the first thing I'm going to do, I want to open the valve. Open the valve. There we go. Open smoothly because I cleaned it out. And now I'm going to take this patch kit. Um, a lot of sleeping pads come with their own patch kits. Follow the instructions. You know, materials can vary pretty widely, but for a lot of self-inflating pads, we find that the seam grip uh, repair kit is, is great. It just costs a couple bucks. It's also good for patching tents, for patching you know all sorts of clothing, other things that uh, 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 get rips or small tears in them. This one comes with a couple small patches, a small. Uh, a circular one and a rectangular one. It also comes with a little bit of seam grip adhesive and a, and a spreader. So because this is a really small patch, all I need to do is just put a, really just a drop of seam grip right over the hole. Not very much. It doesn't take a lot with this stuff. And I just use the brush to work it in a little bit, make sure that I get, get it in that crevice. And I'm going to put that aside and I'm going to leave it out for overnight to cure, wait for that to dry. You can also do this in the field and you don't really need to wait until overnight. It will remain tacky for a while. I'd leave it out for at least two or three hours. Now if you have a bigger gash in your, in your sleeping pad, say it's a, a cut that's an inch long, that's a little bit more complicated to repair, but again, using this kit, I've successfully done that. In that case, the first thing you're going to do is take the seam grip and really work it inside the cut. You might even want to spread it out a little bit so you can get some of that glue down into the foam. Again, you might use the, the brush to work it in. And then you're going to take the, the patch kit, smear a really thin coat of seam grip around the outside of the cut, no larger though than the diameter of this patch. Take the backing off the patch, put it down, smooth it out, you might use a book or something to lay it on top just for a little bit of light pressure, but the adhesive on this and the bonding grip of the seam grip itself 
should be enough to keep that down. Again, give it overnight to, to let it cure, and then you can roll the pad up and it should be good to go. If you find uh, on your next trip that your pad is deflating again, go back and use that, that kitchen sink test to find out if you've got other holes that you didn't find the first time through. So that's all on patch, uh, patching a pad today. Good luck with it.